hi guys uh, this is Raja in this video tutorial I am going to give you some information about lighting in unity world lighting plays a very important and major role in your game development it's give you the mood and the flavor for your game and the look for your game to the player okay you may put more high-end models or high quality models in your game but if the lighting is, is very poor then it will, the game will never look good okay be very careful in lighting a game okay let us go to the lighting system of unity okay what is what are the type of lightings are there in unity there are three lighting systems are there in unity namely point light Directional light and spotlight. Okay, first I will show you the directional light. This is the directional light. Okay, the directional light is like a sunlight. Okay, it will affect all the object in the scene without, or, or I can say that uh, it's not going to reduce the intensity of the light based on the distance. Okay, it's like a sunlight. Okay, now I will show you the point light. I am going to disable this uh, light and I will go on uh, create a point light. So game object, create other object and select point light. Now you have created a point light. Okay. What is your point light? Point light is a light which shines equally in all distances from its location. It's like a bulb. Okay. In your uh, house. Okay. It's, uh, it will it will emit the light in all the reaction equally okay uh, it's this point light will affect the object which is inside its range okay if I increase the range of the light it will affect it but you can here and also you have to increase the intensity you can see it is affecting it okay and you can the range again now you can see the lighting the point light okay it only affects the object which is inside its range. Now I will show you the DAX spotlight. Okay, create how to create a spotlight is yeah, sorry, there's a phone call interruption, so I'll continue the lessons. Now I will show you the spotlight. Okay, go to game object, create the other, and create spotlight. Okay, now a spotlight has been created. What is a spotlight? Spotlight is like a torch light in the real world. It affects the object which is inside this cone. Okay, you can increase the length of the cone by increasing the range, and you can increase the diameter of the cone by increasing the spot angle, so, and you can increase the intensity of that. Okay, what is the attenuation in the in the uh, properties of light? Okay. If I enable this, if I disable the attenuation, you can see the changes. Okay. What happens is the attenuation will affect, if you disable the attenuation, the light will affect the object without the distance, that is, without calculating a distance. Okay. If I increase the distance of that uh, object, you can see the intensity is not going to reduce. If I enable the attenuation, see the intensity is reduced okay if i move it closer you see the intensity is getting higher and higher and higher if i enable the inter attenuation you can see the changes okay next what is your color factor you can change the color by selecting this slot and you can change the color of the light okay so that by using this you can change the entire mood of your game okay i will show you I'm going to disable it. I'm going to diagonal light, and I'm going to enable the light. If I'm going to change the uh, mood of the light, see this. I have changed the entire mood of the game. Okay, so you can use just use this color slot to change the entire mood of the game. Okay, what is shadows? Shadows are very important in game, and also it's very processor intensive. So please be very careful 
while you keep the shadow in the game okay there are two type of shadows are there in the unity namely soft shadow and hot shadow what is a soft shadow and hot shadow is see you will get a very sharp edges in the shadow okay that is hot shadow if you enable it as soft shadow you will get blurry edges in the shadows okay try to try to keep only one light has the shadow information don't don't keep each and every light has the shadow information if you are using a spotlight or direction light in your scene so please keep only one light gets a shadow gives you the shadow information okay because shadow is very costly to render okay i'll go back to the action light okay i'll show the resolution resolution affects the quality of the shadows if i'm going to make it as a low resolution see the quality of the shadow is getting very low if you make it as high resolution resolution the quality of shadow will be also high and also it is very processor in intensive so please be very careful with this if you change the strength of the shadow you can see the strength of the the intensity of the shadow varies okay okay i'll show you yeah <coughs> what is projection projection is nothing but a direction like shadows okay or certain type of direction like shadows what is constant bias a bias is in world unit used for shadow this value is currently ignored for point light shadows okay you cannot use this light for point light bios size bios uh, applies for per shadow caster depends on its size default value is 1% of caster's size this value currently ignores for point light okay the projection and the con constant bios does not affect the it's not be used for the point light okay you cannot use this to for the point light and the attenuation factor will also not affect the direction light if you enable disable attenuation you are not going to see any uh, changes in the light and the range and the, uh, the uh, spot angle is also not going to affect the direction light okay uh, can we change the color of the shadow in unity yes we can change the color of the shadow by going to the edit render settings and you can change the color of the shadow by ambient light okay i can change the shadow to red or green or any type of things okay so be please be very careful in this matter because it's also going to affect your mood of your scene okay what about uh, cookies cookies is a 2d texture which is drawn in the light okay i'll show you i'll show something okay drawn from the light intensity okay i can't show you right now in the real world because i in this game i have not used the cookies and i draw halos i will show the draw halos in real time i have used that in my introduction scene i'll show you to you right now I don't want to save this file. Okay. Okay, the file has been open. Okay, go to the spotlight of this uh, uh, introduction scene. You can see. I have attached. I will enable the hello for this. You can see how it reacts in the real world. So you can see, yeah, fog is drawn around the spotlight. Okay, the, the range of this fog can be adjusted by adjusting the range of the uh, range factor of the light. Okay, and the flare, flare is used to draw a two D texture in the in the light. Okay, you can see that in my game. I'll take this draw hollow. You can see some um, bloom effect. I can say some glow effect in the uh, in the light. You can see right now here. Okay. If I go to the scene, you cannot see that in the in that light because I have attached a flare 
अच्छा से टू डी ऑब्जेक्ट टू दैट टू दैट लाइट ओके रेंडर्ड मेथड रेंडर्ड मेथड इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग द मेकिंग द लाइट फॉर कॉल्कुलेटिंग द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट एंड शेडो ऑफ द लाइट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ रेंडर्ड मेथड नेमली फोस्ड पिक्स एंड पोस्ट फोस्ड टेक्स आई सो इन द रियल वर्ल्ड going to save it start okay 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 this is a direction light okay if i change the render method of this uh, light you can see the shadow information get varied Okay, I'm going to make this a first vertex. You cannot see any shadow information for this light because the shadow information and the lighting information is calculated per vertex. So you can see the per vertex. It's calculated per vertex. I can't teach you the vertex edges and faces uh, in this unity because I can cover this three item in the Blender tutorials. So I will teach you. what is a vertex what is a face what is a edge in blender tutorial okay and if you make it as a pixel the calculation of the light and the shadow will be based upon the pixel of your game so please be very careful in choosing this because it's, it is also going to affect the frame rate of your game so usually a game must have nearly nearly around 30 fps okay but you must you must make your game about 50 60 fps it is very good very good it's okay it is okay but if you always do your game uh, in 30 fps okay that is frames per second so you must always make any assets or lighting which you should not affect the fps of the game okay please be very careful in that Okay guys have a nice day I will I will see you in next tutorial bye